Swifties, I come in peace, okay? Stream folklore. I'm just kind of winging it. Here goes nothing. These tiny ones are murderously difficult. Look how beautiful. Oh my god. I'm actually speechless right now. It's Arza. Hey besties, this is your reminder to go drink water if you haven't already today. Welcome back to yet another episode of Amanda doing random things on her channel. I'm tired of being confined to a small sized piece of paper and I'm breaking free of those shackles. I've been wanting to do bigger art projects on my channels besides like the regular bullet journal stuff, but I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do until I had a nice little video call with my fellow Toronto YouTuber with Wendy. If you guys don't know who she is, she is an awesome YouTuber who sews stuff, she DIY stuff, and she is just a lovely, lovely human being. We put it on the back burner for a while until the Grammys that happened recently and she immediately messaged me and was like, how about this? She sends me a picture of Taylor Swift's lovely outfit from the Grammys and it's just with all these flowers all over her dress that are like hand embroidered and it, she just looks great. She looks chef's kiss, very cottage core, you know? Today I will be hand painting a ton of flowers so that me and Wendy can recreate Taylor Swift's look. I'm in charge of the flowers and then I'm gonna pass it off to her. It's gonna be kind of like a an art DIY relay. It'll be cool for me to see how the actual final project turns out because I won't be there to see how she puts it together. I'll only see, you know, what I paint and then it'll be magically transformed into this garment. This is the fabric that I have over here. Um, Wendy and I did a little handoff. It felt like we were passing off illegal substances or something. I got the goods. Thank you. I will see you at the next drop off. <laughs> Mission accomplished. All right, bye. There's a lot of fabric. Now looking at it, I think I did underestimate how much I would have to paint. <laughs> I was like to Wendy, yeah, yeah, I'll paint all those flowers. No worries, I can, I can finish that, but I'm gonna have to buckle down and do it for the Swifties. For the Swifties. I feel like I'm unlocking a whole side of YouTube that I don't know if I want to be messing with. The Swifties are, are too powerful. Swifties, I come in peace, okay? Stream folklore. All right, so let's just get started. I'm gonna lay out this fabric so we can have one nice big space to work on. I'll probably just be working on it on the floor. So RIP my back. Oh my God, that is a lot of fabric. I've never painted on fabric before, so I didn't know exactly what to get. I got two different type of types of fabric paint. This one is Castle Arts. Castle Arts 3D fabric paint. I'm assuming since it says 3D, it's gonna be a little bit like puffy paint almost. So maybe that'll give us some nice texture. I thought it would be nice, especially since a lot of the flowers kind of have that 3D look on the her dress. And then I also got these Arteza, Arteza? Arteza 24 fabric colors. I think this is just regular fabric paint. Um, I don't know, it had the best ratings on Amazon. I'm gonna have to do a lot of color mixing because these colors are extremely bright. I'm trying to think of what my best plan of action is. Okay, I'm wearing pants. It may look like I'm not wearing pants. I printed out these pictures so I have some reference while I'm painting. It also got extremely cloudy while I was setting up, which makes painting flowers not as exciting. I was so happy today because it was so sunny. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna paint some flowers and it's a sunny day, have the windows open and everything. We're gonna be painting flowers in a dimly lit room. So I'm gonna just get started. Honestly, I've never painted on fabric before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna try to keep it within this, like the color palette of the original dress and we'll see. See how it turns out. I'm just kind of winging it. Okay, well here goes. Here goes nothing.
can tell from the two types of paint, they pretty much work exactly the same. I don't really feel any difference between the the 3D one and the regular paint. It is taking me a lot longer than I expected because actually the fabric is kind of soaking up a lot of paint, which means that I have to like really lay it on thick and layer it a lot. So that was something I was not expecting. I was kind of, since I'm used to drawing on paper, I was just kind of expecting it to be like that. Yeah, it's gonna take a quite a lot longer than what I initially thought. Probably gonna go ahead and time lapse it now and see how much I can get done and then I'll try checking in once I have a little bit more ready for you guys to see. Okay guys, I have finally finished the full flower piece. I don't know how many I've done, but it looks like there's like maybe over 500 here. It took me a lot longer than I expected. I did kind of like three or four full work days. Some of them were four hours, five hours, three hours. So I wanna say in total, this was maybe like 20 hours of work. So it took a while. But we finally finished, let me see if I can hold it up for you guys. I'll put also insert shots, but look at all of this. I'm so excited. Hopefully Wendy can work with this and make this look like something good. I'm really excited to see how she transformed this. I'm actually gonna be handing it off to her today. So we're gonna do a little pass off and then the next time I'll see it, it'll be a, a shirt. So that's gonna be very exciting. did such a beautiful job. I don't even really want to cut it apart. Look how beautiful. These tiny ones are murderously difficult. Okay guys, I'm so excited because today is finally the day that I get to, to see the finished piece that Wendy made with my flower paintings, the hundreds of flowers that I painstakingly, painstakingly painted. I have no idea what this is gonna look like. She didn't keep me updated while she was making it at all. She did say that she wasn't able to make a full dress. She made a top instead, which is totally fine with me. I have it right here. I kept it in the bag that she gave it to me in this whole time so that I wouldn't have a sneak peek of what it would look like. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous. Okay, should we just open it, I guess? Ready? Oh my god, wait, oh my god. I'm actually speechless right now. Look, wait, this is so cool. How did she do this? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. 
Wow, I actually don't know what to say. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely shocked. This looks so cool. Like, I don't know if you can see the details, but let me see. They're all like individually sewed on, all of the flowers, like cut and stitched out. Whoa, this looks so cool. I'm gonna try it on in a sec, but I feel like it definitely looks like the Taylor Swift dress, but maybe in like a more everyday look because it's in the top, of course. Oh my gosh, wait. Wendy, you did such a good job. <laughs> I was so concerned. I was like, I don't know if she'll be able to salvage these flowers because some of them definitely looked a little bit botched. And at certain points I was like, I don't know if I'm doing them the right size. I don't know like what she had imagined for this, but like, this is actually incredible. Okay, wait, BRB. I'm gonna change into the top and show you guys how it looks like on. Can we just... Can I hear a little commotion for the dress? Hmm? A little bit? Wendy. This is a team effort, so props Wendy through the screen. I actually think I prefer it as a top because it's like more wearable that way. I'm just wearing it with some black jeans right now, but this looks so good. I mean, I guess I can wrap this video up now. I keep looking at the shirt because it's so pretty. Um, definitely a success. Uh, this was such a fun collaboration to do between the painting and then like dropping off everything It really felt like a big group project and shout out of course to Wendy for making this incredible piece out of my Painting I, I really did not know how it would turn out or if she would be able to use the flowers that I made But she definitely pulled it off if you do want to check out the whole process of her making this top I think she also made one for herself um, but like a maternity style because she's currently pregnant so if you want to check out the whole process of her turning that huge flower painting into this top definitely be sure to check out her video give her some love she is so so sweet and so talented clearly and I love her and her content so much so I'll leave the link to her channel down below thank you again Wendy and I think that's pretty much it so I will talk to you guys in the next video keep doodling bye where do I go now like this is just so cute <laughs>